Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel and welcome again for another episode on how to. Today I'm going to show you how to install a copy of uh, NAS for free on your server. Let's start. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to download the latest version. Let's go to SourceForge. I'm going to choose the latest version, 9201. And I'm going to download the latest version, Live CD. Going to click on it. And I'm going to save it. Nine megabyte per second. Ooh. Right, once that's been done, I'm going to uh, upload it to my server. Of course, usually I'll be using the same VMware server. Anyway, the upload has been done. I'm going to create a new virtual server. I'm going to call it NAS for free. Make sure the storage is this one here. I'm going to say Linux. Hold on. That looks fine. The disk is going to be, let's say, 25 gig. Going to finish. And I'm going to edit it here. So I'm going to put of course and the memory is going to be 4 gig I'm going to start the machine now if you install it on a normal computer this is all you are interested in now I'm going to insert the actual disk in Okay, starting up. Usually I don't press any keys, so I automatically start installation.
point the IP address is 192.168.1250 Let's go here. So it's one nine two one six eight one two five zero. And as you can see, the actual system is already being installed. It's telling me that the username and password is not correct. Let me delete this one second. Let's reset the password, pressing number three. The password will be for the only this is account admin will reset to NAS for free. So yes. Press OK. Let's go back. So it's gonna be admin NAS for free. No DNS found logically because nothing has been installed. But as you can see, the system has been done. This is my uh, DNS server for the IPv4. Now I'm going to save it. Job done. Now I shouldn't have any more the error. And that's it really it's not much really to uh, to explain this is the host name this is the domain the protocol if you want HTTP or HTTPS uh, don't forget for the HTTP S is 443 that's automatically done anyway this is the certificate here you can manage the disk you can import the disks This is the actual first disk. And based on this ones, logically, you can uh, create um, the users. FTP. Don't forget, logically, you need to create groups as well. There are already some groups already made. Right? So when you create users and you press plus here let's say I'll create a new user user one we call all again I'm going to leave it as no login I'm going to leave it as guests I'm going to give you, a, I can give to the actual user an extra additional group. I, it can be an admin or even bind. Games FTP, in this case, let's say FTP. I'm going to give the root of the, of the disk. And I can actually grant or deny. In this case, is grant, that's deny access to the user portal i'm going to grant it and i'm going to press and and this is the way you do you do create the uh, the user go back to management press on the actual spanner i can enter the description Is if it's always on, or do you want to give uh, the standby time? At the moment, I don't think it's formatted. Okay. 
here you can actually look all the information or the status, the process, the services, the desks, the interface, the graphical information or the CPU or the load and everything. Here you can have a file editor or file manager, for example. I don't think this will work as I don't think I am the user. In fact, oh, actually, it actually works. No, I don't, it doesn't work. Here we go. It doesn't work. This is not for free. Uh, Let's see if I can do it now. User one, user one, user one. In fact, is a invalid username. Yes. There we go. We're back here. Of course, I need to set uh, set up the actual. Uh, environment for the user as I haven't done yet but this again this is just how to install it nothing more than that anyway I hope you enjoyed the actual uh, tutorial don't forget you can follow me on Twitter and my website of course on the YouTube where you can actually see all my tutorials thanks again don't forget to share and like my videos I'll see you next time